Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whenever you come across this video, thank you so much for choosing to spend a little bit of time with me. I'm so grateful for every single one of you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Everyone who is booking, um, making purchases off the wish list, pledges to the Patreon, tipping the Clarista, sending things uh, to the P.O. Box, and purchases off the wish list. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys so dearly. I love you so much. Uh, let's dive in. It is a Saturday when I'm recording this, but this is a timeless reading, so whenever you come across this, if it resonates, it is for you. I love you, I love you, I love you. Let's do it. Let's get into it. What is it that the collective needs to know at this time, please? Ooh, astrology. Okay. Some of you could be really into astrology or astrology is like a next path here, okay? Um, or astrology just could be very synchronistic. Um, something about Leo maybe? Because that, yeah. Okay, but we have karmic ties, okay? Tell me more. Okay, there could also be something going on within your astrological chart that I feel like are releasing some sort of karmic ties maybe in your romance life here, okay? Okay, tell me more. Yeah, what I say? Chakra clearing. <laughs> exactly. There's something that's clearing out of your life right now. Okay. So I don't know what's going on astrologically. There's always a lot of things going on, but I feel like there's something significant where in there's like karmic ties within your romantic relationships, your romantic dynamics here are clearing here. Okay. We have butterfly effect. You, uh, hidden treasure. You've cleared some sort of, um, I'm hearing past life karma, but also it could be like this lifetime karma, like when it comes to relationships or something like that. Um, this butterfly effect with this hidden treasures. Um, it, you know, I feel like you are actually the hidden treasure, to be honest with you. Um, and there is this energy of, I feel like God has been hiding you basically while you've been going through this cleansing here and clearing these, uh, karmic ties, but there's something it's, it's like with the astrology here, it feels like it's like, you know, something is written in the stars. Okay. Yeah. Here's synchronicity and we have pure intentions. There's a lot of, there could be a lot of synchronicity between you and this person. Person. Um, with the pure intentions in the sun here, okay, um, yeah, tell me more about this for the collective, please. Best friends. Let me tell you about my best friend. Dreams. You could be in somebody's dreams or you could be having certain dreams here. There's also just something significant too about some sort of like... Um, something with your inner child here. Which makes sense because of these karmic ties. There's something, there's something about your inner child that's clearing, which is, you know, normal. We always are talking about that, right? I figured out that basically in Divine Corporation, I work in the shadow department. <laughs> I work in the healing department, so we're always going to be talking about healing. <laughs> I mean, and other things too, but it's, it's always going to come through. It's not, it's, it's not never. Yeah. Anyways, you get it. So, um, this could even be like, uh, something about your like friends, like from childhood, there is some sort of possible like karmic ties or some sort of programming that was created with these friends, okay? And I feel like that too is something that's clearing. And it's like this energy of like they could have like 
overshadowed you or maybe you kind of hid yourself um, because of maybe some friendships in the past or something like that. There's something too about dreams becoming more clear and these could be like your dreams at nighttime But it could also be like your actual dreams. I'm picking up on an energy of somebody that maybe Doesn't know exactly like where they want to go or what they want to do There's something about with this cleansing with this clearing here Something makes more sense. There's a direction that you that you are what like, you know what I mean? Like something is becoming more clear here Okay, as far as like a direction that you want to go in, but also to prophetic dreams as well is a big energy here. Uh, makes sense with this chakra clearing. Okay. Yeah, higher self here. Yeah, you're definitely being led by your higher self, I would say. And there's the communication at the bottom of the deck. Exactly, you're definitely being led by your higher self. Okay, we have this communication. Um, it, there's something that's, you're being brought out of the darkness with something here, okay? And into some sort of like, higher vibes you're being asked to kind of surrender to whatever is kind of happening at this time okay um yeah we have missing piece here this is something that I feel like, you know, I feel like you've been like really working through uh, like a lot of like inner child things but there's you know, yeah, heart activation. There's something that has been like maybe feeling missing, right? With this missing piece here. Um, and for some reason, there's almost this energy of not recognizing or not realizing where whatever it is that you're working through with these friends in the past has um like affected you in some type of way or like kind of tied your hands or something it like created some sort of you know, for some reason, I feel like it maybe kept you hidden, right? There's there's some sort of like maybe even shame or guilt or, you know, something that you could have done or, you know, but again, I feel like it, uh, especially with that hidden treasures, it's like, you know, but I, I feel like you're coming out of this here, okay? Oh, we have marriage vows. Yeah, it could be tied into a marriage as well, some sort of like self-forgiveness with that also yeah we have surrender here it did come out and then we have this Venus energy. I feel like uh, for a lot of you, you're being encouraged to tap into, uh, you know, masculine or feminine to tap further into some sort of feminine energy. Okay, there's like this energy of allowing the divine to like take care of you to kind of, I don't know, guide you through this. There's like this energy of like slowing down and tapping in and... Um, yeah, there's some sort of, with this light bulb and this creative spark, with this meditation, exactly. 
we have divine timing. Some of you are going through some sort of dark night, and I feel like it has to do with relationships. It has to do with connections. But I feel like these soulmates showed up in the form of friends, okay? Could also have been marriage as well. But there was a significant something. And for some of you, I feel like, too, there is some sort of, it's, it's, it's releasing some sort of karmic ties or programming um, that form through these dynamics, but also too, there is this energy of forgiving yourself and, and um, allowing yourself to like kind of be seen, okay? Um, because of this butterfly effect, I feel like, you know, your higher self has really been kind of guiding you through this, but there's in the astrology, it feels like there's something that's like something significant that's kind of written in the stars that's like aiding in this, that's like helping in this, it's like basically I feel like lifting all of the heavy weight as far as this goes and I feel like you're just being encouraged to kind of allow this to unfold allow this to kind of happen here okay and to follow any creative inspiration that you have because for some reason I feel like too there is this energy of that kind of opening up for you okay if especially going back into this energy of like childhood friends and kind of healing from dynamics from from those situations right um it, it's like you're you're accessing um you know more of your inner child here okay there's like this energy of like um you know each but each part of us has something special to offer and i feel like there could be some sort of creative spark or inspiration or motivation or drive that comes from these particular versions of you okay um things that were kind of maybe suppressed uh when these kind of karmic ties were were created okay 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 so tell me more earth signs might be significant but yeah, it feels like, you know, it may feel like a storm, but you know, this has a rainbow on it. And I feel like there's this energy of you, um, come, it, like the storm, you know, coming to an end and you kind of seeing a rainbow, you know what I mean? It's like the rainbow after the storm is what it feels like. Yeah. We have meditation here. There is this energy too, like beach energy, water energy, um, uh, you know, just calm, like, you know, tapping into nature might be significant. Just, it just feels like you're really being encouraged to just slow down. Okay. And just like allow, allow something to, you know, um, yeah, we have animal spirits here. which is the swans. Yeah. So this feels really good though. The, oh, what I say, water signs, water energy here, balancing ego, synchronicity, out of the darkness, hermit mode, fire signs, spirit guides, divine partnership, divine masculine. Yeah, <clears throat> I feel like you're being encouraged to, you know, take a step back here, okay? Air signs broken open. Okay, let's see. What else does the collective need to know about this here? So, yeah, this is what's what's going on here, okay? Yeah, with this entity attachment. It's not to say that there's necessarily, like, an entity attached to you here, but there are, you know, uh, yeah, you're moving on into some sort of further divinity here. Um, it's just like a perception about yourself, okay? I feel like that is has been formed here, okay? Um, you know, I, I'm hearing through the vision of others. Yep, and this is what's being released, okay? Yeah. Look, we have work, labor, efforts with abundance. The ancestors are coming through here. Okay. So tell me more about this for the collective. What else do they need to know about this?
Yeah, some of you are using, there's been a love spell that's been done, and some of you are using that to ascend. Good work. Unexpected money. We like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, but this is card number 27, which is a nine, right? This unexpected money comes with this ending, right? With this karmic ties, with this chakra clearing here. Yeah. But it just feels like there's this energy collective where you may be kind of unintentionally getting in the way, okay? <laughs> it could be like something about like your perfectionism or like your, you know, uh, just it, maybe even a little bit of like uh, moving from a space of just like out of like, I don't know, like default or programming or like survival or something, but it feels like you're kind of getting a little bit in the way and I feel like that's, that's why this message is coming through. Um, um, okay, so tell me more. Yeah, we have sweetheart here. So we have sweetheart, we have courthouse, we have entity attachment, we have moving on, karmic masculine, emotional pain, and Jezebel. Okay, so tell me more about this unexpected money for the collective, please. <clears throat> What's this unexpected money, please? Conflict. So there could be some sort of conflict that's going on about some sort of unexpected money. Uh, what is this conflict? Why is this conflict here? This could also be an internal a priest. This could also be an internal conflict, right? About uh, some sort of unexpected money. Uh, collective, you could be expecting some sort of unexpected money or you could be, I don't know, there's something. But again, there's this energy of you kind of moving through this, okay? Why is this priest here conflicted about some sort of unexpected money? Confusion, illusion, so, because they could be, okay, so there could be some sort of unexpected money that's supposed to be coming towards you, maybe through the court or something, um, and for some reason there could be a priest involved or somebody who just uh, maybe is very, like, religious or something like that here, okay, um, they may be very conflicted because I feel like they may be confused about your divinity, about, you know, I feel like you're an earth angel, and that looks different than, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, so there is this energy of, um, Yeah, okay, who is this sweetheart? Who's this sweetheart? I feel like this could be you, Collective, but let's see. Oh, there could be a cre- uh, this, this person here, okay, could be receiving some sort of karma. This sweetheart, please. Yeah. Be an ice king, a king of swords. We have thief here. 
this this sweetheart energy you you could be the sweetheart you could be the child of a, like a king of swords energy here i feel like there's there's an energy of somebody that's like viewing you in this way but we have a thief here okay um why is this thief here i think it's you know with the courthouse blocked a message Courthouse with the thief, please. Unbothered. There's like this energy of somebody may have like taken something from you. Yeah, we have faith here. You abandoned some sort of imprisonment. Okay. There, it's like this energy of, um, for some reason I feel like somebody expected you to go in one direction or to handle something one way here, but you're handling it completely different. Or this is how this is going to go down here. Tell me about this entity attachment, please. Legal. There's definitely a false tw like flame or a false soulmate around here, okay? This person is has some sort of entity attached to them, okay? And they are going through some sort of legal issues. They are like a flying monkey here, okay? Um, I feel like you're picking up on that energy. There could be somebody that took from their child here. Hmm. Or tried to imprison somebody like in a house here. Okay, so what is this moving on? energy uh super random but somebody might blame you for somebody else's death like not saying that you like actually like hurt them but they might like i don't know yeah we have abundance here i feel like there's somebody that took something but it feels like god's replacing it with something else yeah with the chakras because it's like you've moved on in divine feminine yep Yep, you have aligned yourself here, okay? And you moved on from a situation and you're not bothered by it. And for some reason, you know, I, and I feel like this is just part of it. And there's like, it's like God is replacing whatever was taken, like through other resources or through other things here, okay? There's kind of a lot going on, I'll be honest with you. Um... Something very significant about a child or somebody's inner child, okay? Somebody does not want to give you something, though, okay? They're very conflicted. They, I don't know. There's something, yeah. Soulmate, evil eye, abandonment. Hmm. Okay, tell me about this karmic masculine, please, for the collective. Oh, this karmic masculine is concerned. Concerned about what? A nice guy. Mm-hmm.
Concerned about a nice guy. The mind feminine. This karmic masculine concerns somebody's going to come sweep you off your feet. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So they may be trying to manipulate a situation here. Okay? But again, I feel like you're in your north node energy. So they're expecting some sort of... I don't know. I feel like they're expecting to get you in your head. But again, I feel like... You're getting out of your head. That's it, you know. There is this energy of like you're releasing. This is this whole situation. I feel like is somehow tied into or connected to this inner child wound that you're healing through at this time. Okay. Tell me about this emotional pain, please. Yeah, evil eye and animosity here. Yeah, this karmic masculine could be experiencing this emotional pain. They could have been doing some sort of evil eye here or something like that. Um, and there's some sort of like animosity energy that's coming back. Who's Who is this? Who is this energy? Yeah. There's kind of a lot going on here, Collective. I'll be honest, I feel like we're all over the board, you know? I feel like these, you know, these people are kind of separate from you, and... I, I see you here, right in the middle, moving on from some shit, going after some money. That's what I see you doing, okay? And not in a bad way, right? It's just, you know... Um, you got to do something with your time. So you're balancing yourself out and you're getting that bag, okay? There's a karmic masculine that's concerned about a nice guy coming your way. Meanwhile, this karmic masculine is dealing with so much emotional emotional pain because of some evil eye and things that he's done here. Okay, there, I feel like there's a father figure or something that's maybe emotional because they're viewing you, I don't know... As they're seeing you as like a sweetheart at this time. Like, I don't know if there was something different here, but there's, I feel like there's a father figure that's emotional as a, uh, you know, over a child here. There is also, you know, somebody's inner child is a little emotional because of, I feel like there's a big, it's, if, it's your divinity, I think, okay? Um, and then we have this priest that's conflicted here, okay? Um, I feel like they may even be going through some sort of conflict as some sort of karma. All over some unexpected money and a... Yeah, okay. Tell me about this Jezebel. Yeah. There's a Jezebel energy that is jealous and envious here, okay, because of your divinity, because of some sort of traveling, yeah, third party. Single, sexy, and successful, blocked, okay, yeah. So, Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, self-love, change, achievement. Okay. Okay, uh, let's pick all this up and then we're going to get some final messages from another deck here. But yeah, this is kind of what's going on. Um, obviously all this other shit is going on, you know, and you may be picking up on the energy, but it's really none of your concern, right? Um, you know, I feel like your biggest concern is, uh, you know,
Getting that money. Loving on yourself. Healing this inner child wound. Okay? Okay. Um, I kind of want to get a couple of these and then we're going to get some, some tarot boys on it. All right. What do they need to know? What does the collective need to know, my darlings? Tell us more. Yeah, adjudication here. Okay, going back to that energy of like a, a parent or something like that who possibly misjudged a child here and they're now, I feel like they're, they're being shown that their child, I feel like this person is very emotional because they're, it's taking other people to show them that their child is, you know, this sweetheart energy or this divine energy or like there's something very significant and I feel like this person is very emotional because it's like almost like there are other people and this, per this person is like, why didn't I see that, right? Like what, what is, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lovers at the bottom of the deck. We're going to use Hocus Pocus because it's October, baby. Okay. So we have Judication, we have Pathway, we have Imprisonment, we have Mature Man, and we have Occupation here. Tell me about this adjudication, please, for the collective. Yeah, this almost feels like, too, some sort of spiritual uh, judgment kind of happening here, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like there, there's some sort of protection here. Okay, that's going on um, like in your favor or like in your honor is what I feel like. Okay. Um, yeah. Tell me about this. Well, tell me a little bit more. Seven of Wands, Five of Wands here. Collective now, don't be playing with somebody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of you are being a little tricksters, okay? You know that somebody is attempting to do something sneaky and you are 10 steps ahead of this person. Don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, 
but also at the same time, I feel like part of you, some of you, there's something that you're experiencing right now that's it's like initiating you into like some other position for the divine. And for some reason, I feel like it's like almost your job to like lure in these sneaky people, right? And, you know, imprison them, right? Like snatch them up. Okay, so tell me about this pathway here. And that could be why a lot of you guys attract like lower vibrational energies is because it's your job to snatch them up or awaken them or, you know what I mean? Like be real, right? Like show them their potential here. Yeah, we have the pathway with the star. Watashi Wasta. Baby, I'm a star. Star. Yeah, we have justice with the star and the, the ten of cups here. Pathway. Yeah. You, the collective, I don't know. There's a decision you're going to be making. You know, the pathway that you're headed is leading you to this. You know, some of you could be, it could be stardom. It could be fame. Like, right, it could be being well known. It could be, but for a lot of you, it's just healing. And it's, you know, going to some sort of happiness here. Okay. Having some sort of justice. Um, calling your energy back from those, again, with that inner child, right? Somebody that held something out of your reach here, okay? There's something significant about that, all right? And again, Page of Pentacles, look at all those kids. I'm telling you, there's something with your inner child and something with, like, your friendships from when you were a child or something like that um, that, it, that you're working through here, okay? And for some reason, I feel like there could be a situation that is like manifested, okay, uh, that is a recreation, right? And But uh, you're like 10 steps ahead and you may be playing with it a little bit, okay? Like I feel like some of you are playing with it a little bit and just, you know, um, I don't know, these, these energies played with you. So if you're feeling guided, do follow your guidance. That's all I got. That's all I got. I'm not telling you to do anything. And, and I don't mean like playing with it as far as like energetically, but you may be playing the fool to fool the fool. <laughs> Some of you are just going to say something. You're just going to be like, listen. No. <laughs> uh... Yeah, you have some pretty, yeah, five of swords, exactly. Some of you are just going to say something, okay? And you have some pretty strong feelings about what it is that you want to say. Others of you are going to play the fool to fool the fool. Okay, all right. Just follow your own guidance. I'm not, you know, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Okay, what's this imprisonment, please, for the collective? So I used to joke, they're reminding me of when I was, uh, you know, when the kids were younger, I used to joke when it came to like bedtime and, you know, trying to get them to bed. I'd be like, listen, you have to go to bed because mommy turns into a pumpkin at 930. I turn into a pumpkin. I won't be able to help you with anything. <laughs> and this imprisonment with the, the, the three pumpkins right here, uh, you know, it makes me feel like there's this energy of somebody's turning into a pumpkin. Okay, there's somebody that's turning into a pumpkin, uh, whatever that means, right? Off of Cinderella, her carriage turned into a pumpkin, okay, right? At a certain time, there's something like somebody that could be very significant too, right? Her fairy godmother came through and like really just kind of like, you know, she, but these certain things went away after midnight. There's some sort of like, you know, but again, I feel like Ace, um, Asa Wands here, you see something very clearly, okay? Yeah. For some of you, you're really setting somebody free, I feel like. There's an energy of setting somebody free. What's this an imprisonment with the Three of Pentacles?
Yeah, we have the emperor here. This emperor also, too, is dressed up like a vampire, okay? Again, this could be like some type of energy vampire or something like that. Yeah. The, you know what it feels like? You know, like in some of those like superhero movies or something like that, right? In the beginning, they're very serious. They're, you know what I mean? Like they, you know, uh, but then towards the end when they're feeling more confident in their skills and their gifts and their talent and their ability to, you know, conquer, they play with their, their you know, they're opposers a little bit, right? I'm kind of picking up on like Deadpool energy a little bit. Collective, don't you play, okay? <laughs> I don't know. You know, there's kind of a little bit of this energy here, okay? What's this mature man? I'm not condoning, I'm not encouraging that, but this, I am picking up on that energy, okay? You, you're playing with something. knowingly very aware okay yeah okay what's this mature man please for the collective nine of cups wish fulfillment here the hierophant There's a mature man that could be viewing you as the, as wish fulfillment here, okay? They may want to commit, okay? But again, this mature man could, yeah, we have this Queen of Pentacles energy. This mature man could have that, I'm, I'm being drawn back to that, right, that priest that has that conflict here, okay? This could be this inner conflict because we have this Queen of Pentacles. It's like uh, somebody could be battling, you know, in their head. But but also I'm feeling pretty confident about this mature man viewing you in a very high, high, high way here. Okay. There's like this energy of being very solid, very stable, like having your stuff together, but also being very attractive, right? And you keep to yourself, right? And you, you're very calm and peaceful and you kind of got it going on, right? Like there's just all this... And somebody is seeing you, you know, this is a very mature man, does not have to be older, right? But they're very mature and they're seeing you as fulfillment and they're like, man, man, okay. <laughs> okay, tell me about this occupation here for the collective. Yeah, temperance. Here's that energy, that page of wands. It's like, I know what you're doing. I know, look at her face. I know exactly what you're doing, right? <laughs> yeah, somebody's also watched how some sort of occupation has brought some sort of balance and harmony within you, okay? They've been watching this. They've been witnessing this here, okay? Yeah. Also, too, there's something about your occupation that's coming out of some sort of hanged man energy. Something's going to start moving forward. Something, it's not going to be stagnant or still, right? It's almost like there was, there was something about, you know, something that you do for an occupation or something, um, you know, you were aligning to it or, you know, doing something. I don't know. There's something about that here that's, I feel like that's coming to an end, right? There's a cycle that's ending here. Um... And I feel like it's time for you to be seen in some type of way. Ooh, somebody also is getting caught. They are getting caught taking some action towards you or doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. Okay? Yes, they are. All right. Anyways, Collective, okay, I love you so much. I don't even remember what all we talked about. I feel like we were all over the place. I'm not sure what to call this, but I'll figure it out. Uh, I hope that you have a fantastic day. I just noticed that the lovers were at the bottom of the deck for that. So that may kind of make sense with what we talked about. 
Yeah, the moon, the lovers. Again. Yeah. Anyways, I love you. Have a good day.